another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. And today we're going to be looking at my personal Mito Ocean Star Diver 600 meter watch. Now this watch is in the Swatch group. Mito is in the Swatch group. They are a very worldwide recognized brand that are more marketed in Asia, uh, South America, and not in the United States. So a lot of people aren't familiar with this brand and a lot of people aren't selling this brand um, in the US. But it is a part of the Swatch Group and this watch truly punches above its weight. First of all, it's under $2,000 and this is what you're getting for this. You're getting just about everything you can dream up when it comes uh, to what you need in a diver. Now, for some people, the turnoff is going to be the 43.5 um, millimeter case dimensions. That's perfect for me. My wrist is uh, 7.25 inches, so I don't have a problem with it. But if you want a smaller diver, um, it's just, you know, I guess that these features aren't going to be available, but in this brand, but for me, this is a dive watch perfection. Now let's just start from the top. You get an anti-reflective sapphire crystal on this one. Outboard of that, you get a ceramic bezel that is fully loomed, and you'll see that in the um, shot. Really nice knurling, and this bezel has a special locking system Whereas you have to apply pressure to the top of the bezel to turn it. So you push it down, then you can turn the bezel. 60 click bezel, I prefer that over 120 click. Everything lines up. And I just like the way it is. That's, I mean, it's just perfection. Now, you get excellent knurling on here, on the side. And on this watch, since it is a saturation diver, you get an automatic helium escape valve. And you can see that right here on the side, it's scribed helium valve. And you get the circle that is an actual helium escape valve. Now, on top of that, you have this little oval slit. That is so that when you come up out of the water, that is how you rinse the seawater from underneath the bezel so you don't get any um, extra corrosion underneath the bezel. You can wash the inside of the bezel. You can run water in that, and that will clean out around the inside of the bezel. Really simple, really ingenious. And that also works to get air up under the bezel so that um, the, all the water can evaporate out of there after you go diving. Now you do get a screw down crown, which is signed Mito. Excellently knurled, and the knurling matches the bezel knurling. Something that I like, small details. This watch is mostly satin brushed, and you have a laser sharp line of polish chamfer down the edge that extends up to the polished case and then you can see the brush case and then you have that clear line of delineation that polish that goes down the side of the case and you can see it on this side also really really well done you also get half links that are fixed by screws no pins and sleeves and you get a fully milled Twin trigger deployant milled clasp. In addition to that, you get a quick adjust that ratchets. Take note on that Seiko. Now, you get the screw down case, the screw down back, nice bust of a starfish on the back of there, as you can see. And this watch has um, an ETA uh, 
movement, which is the um, it's a COSC cost movement, and this is the CO seven eight two twenty one meter caliber eighty, which has eighty hours of power reserve, three hertz movement. Okay, twenty one thousand six hundred vibrations per hour, and it's six hundred meter, two thousand feet water resistant watch. That's that's really really great. Now you have Super Luma Nova X1 grade on the bezel and the indices in hands, and these indices are all applied. Triangles at the nine and six rectangles and blocks at the 12, six, and other indices. So the three and the nine has triangles, the six and the 12 have double blocks, and all the rest are rectangles with a copious amount of X1 grade Superluminova, which you'll see in a second. Paddle style hands with a ton of loom, beautiful blue gradient, dial that's kind of like a fume dial with the dark in the middle then it fades out the blue as you get to the outer rim that matches that beautiful blue ceramic bezel and that's also beautiful you have an orange tipped second hand which is very legible and the printing is all nice with that orange chronometer SI above six o'clock. Mito is chrome applied, and then the Ocean Star Diver and the 600 2000 feet is printed. You have a black date wheel with white printing that looks real nice over there at three o'clock. And now I'll try it on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. I like the way it fits. To me, it fits perfect. And with these half links, you can get a great fit. Now I'll do a quick measurement and then take you out with the loom shot. 43 and a half millimeter case. The thickness is 14.4. The lug to lug with the male ends is going to be uh, 55 and the case is going to be 50 even. So these dimensions are real nice. Like I said, I recommend this for a wrist about six inches and above and it will look wonderful. Feels great, has a great weight to it and also monster, monster loom. Now I'll hit it with my black light so we can see this X1 great Super Luminova, which does last all night. I did test it. And this is going to be your transitional loom. Right there. As you can see, it's beautiful. And that's your full night shot. So, this is what I would throw my hat into the ring if I was going into a war of attrition with watches because it has all the hallmarks of a great watch. Great fit and finish, great history, great loom, silicone escapement, uh, I mean silicone balance spring, 80 hours of power reserve, screws, not pins and sleeves, Fully milled clasp, quick adjust, beautiful sapphire with anti-reflective coating, great fume dial, and a wonderful size. So this is my diver, main diver in my collection, the Mito Ocean Star 600. It's hard to beat. Let me know if you found another diver with these specs. That can beat this for this price. That's the watch ones over for today. My name is Biggie. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.